LJ for Drift and Die Press, and we're here with Icon for Hire. Please introduce yourselves and roles in the band. Hello, I am Sean Jump, and I play guitar and uh, push the buttons on stage. That's true. I'm Ariel, and I just sing. That's all I got. Sorry. <laughs> so what do you guys have going on right now aside from this tour? We are releasing our album, You Can't Kill Us, on November 25th, which we're so excited about. This is our first independent album, like as an independent band, that was crowdfunded, so it feels like more than just like another album because it feels like our fans came together to help make it. So it's pretty pretty exciting for us. Yes, that's that's it. <laughs> that's exactly what she said. Do you have any other tours planned aside from this one? Uh, no, we, we have a few things, surprises. Uh, they're not sealed yet, so I can't really say talk about them, but they're really exciting and big deal to us. Um, other than that, we're just getting back out on the road with the You Can't Kill Us tour, releasing the album, music videos, and things like that. But it's really great because we had like a year off uh, recording the record, and uh, we did it with Mike Green. He's in Los Angeles. He did like Pierce the Veil, All Time uh, Low, and stuff like that. So, so we are planning on um, doing more international touring in 2017. We have yeah. a really great like UK European fan base. So we're gonna do more legs of the You Can't Kill Us tour in the U.S. as well as overseas. Do you have any dream cities or venues to play someday? I do. What's oh, yours? We uh, I just answered this the other day. I want to go to um, pause, time out. No, where Brazil. Was it? Yes, Brazil. <laughs> yeah, we have a, a South America fan base. I guess they're just they just love America, all of, like American bands and stuff. So I really want to get to Brazil. It'd really be cool to go to, like Tokyo and Japan and things like that. But uh, we've been to um, you know a lot of the European places. We went to all most of the Australian cities. Um, so yeah, South America. Here we come in Al Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> I think he wants to go to Alaska for personal reasons. Not yeah. Personal. I wonder if there ever has actually been a band that's gone to Alaska. I don't know. Uh, Warp Tour sometimes had like. Oh, yeah, Warp Tour start their, uh, started their tour there, yeah. but it was only like small, like five bands went. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, because I know, I think as Motion's White was saying the other day, that the only place they haven't played is Alaska yeah. <laughs> in the States. Yeah. Right. Awesome. And, you know, you guys are a very vibrant band, which they need, and they like those kind of bands in South America. Um, has this, the way you looked, ever got you in trouble on the road? The way we look? Yeah. No. Um, People have been very friendly. I guess customs. Yeah. We're always, Canadian customs, we're always pulled over for something like for 10 hours, and it's a big drama deal. And yeah. They, like, won't let you out of the van, so if you, like, or have to go pee, you're screwed. You're just stuck, like, quarantined in yeah, your van so for hours. We pull up to the Canadian border, and it's like, okay, everybody out. They pulled all of our merchandise out. They did background checks on all of us. And I had a, a ticket <laughs> from a long time ago, and it, it was for one fish. They it was get a, tickets for fish, apparently. Yeah, so I got, and when you get like a, a natural like resources ticket with the woods and stuff, it's like a, like almost a felony. So they were like questioning me, have you ever been arrested? I'm like, no. Have you ever been arrested, sir? Sir, are you lying? And I went, <laughs> No, I've never, I'm never getting trouble. And they were like, well, it says right here. And I'm like, oh, God, the fish. The fish. How long ago did that happen? Like eight years ago. The fish thing or the quarantine thing? Or the like fish thing happened like eight years ago, but the, the, when they pulled me in the room, the Canadian like patrol, that was a couple years ago. I've heard a lot of bands say that Canada, nicest people, but their border patrol are awful. Oh my God, yeah. That's coming, people are so nice because they don't let any of the mean ones in from America. Yeah, coming across back into the States, they were like high five and they're like, all right. You know, they're Come just on back. going through, yep. you know. A lot of bands get stuck through your warp tour too. Yeah, we did. You know. Yeah, we did it in uh, 2014 and 2015. Did you have any warped nightmares happen? Yeah, yeah, our tour bus got smashed into a bridge in New York. <laughs> And then the second year, the freaking tour bus broke down on like day three. It like it was a rental, and it was yeah. just gone. So that that was rough. But Warp Tour is just a hard tour, but you know that's we we kind of grew up on Warp Tour. It's where like, you know, we uh, worked out all the kinks in they touring. Say if you can do Warp Tour, you can do any tour in the world. Yes, they. That. Yeah, we've done it twice now. The full thing. Yeah. All right. What is the most bizarre thing you've seen on a drive? On a drive, uh, we saw a herd of elk one time. <laughs> It's not that bizarre, I guess. That was amazing because I, I jumped out of the van, jumped on top of the van. With your it, camera. Yeah, with my camera. It was going like five or ten mile an hour, and we were off in the middle of like Oregon somewhere, and there's like elk, just like tons of them, and it was like Discovery Channel, you know. Um, I don't know. We, I mean, we've seen some pretty bad wrecks, but I don't – nothing like crazy. We saw a car on fire the other day. Yeah, that was pretty cool. there was a car on fire. Love a good car fire. Yeah. <laughs> you say that so casually. Yeah. There was no one in it. So. Yeah. We don't feel bad. We don't like people getting hurt, but the car on fire was cool. 
As long as I have insurance. Have you had any other bad Murphy's Law type of things happen on tour? I don't care. I, I mean, really the worst the, the stuff was worst, Warped Tour. Yeah, the worst stuff was the Warped Tour at the bus and yeah. stuff. It was, but other than that, you know, transmission going out in Minot, North Dakota, that was pretty bad. So for the record that you're getting ready to release, what song are you most excited for your fans to hear? Well, the fans have heard most of the songs. I'd say Under the Knife is probably the one that I'm most personally invested in. Yeah, I would say You Were Wrong. I really like that one, but uh, Supposed to be right up number one. If you want, we, um, we will be your new family. We will love you forever. We will never let you go. This could be your new favorite cult if you, if you like to say <laughs> Any last words or statements that you'd like to leave with your fans? Yeah, our fans are crazy and amazing and we love them and this is why we keep making music and it, it feels like in the last year or so there's been a whole new depth of relationship with our fans and the Kickstarter yeah. had a, a lot to do with that but leaving the label was very scary. We didn't know if our fans would catch us and they they have, they are on a daily basis. They're giving us care packages on the road. They're sending us kind messages. We feel very supported. Um, and they're serving as our record label. So we love you and thank you. And we'll, we'll never quit if you never quit. So, and thanks for having us on the show today. Yep, everything she said. She <laughs> said guys, it. It was perfect. Talk. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, LJ. Where's the price that we